Welcome back YouTube. In this video we'll be installing a Midland GMRS radio and the Tacoma. Uh, should be a pretty quick install. Let's get to it. So this is what comes in the box. We got our small radio itself, unit, um, handheld with all the controls, a power wire that's plugged in uh, using a 12 volt cigarette lighter and then our small antenna. Alright, so our first step after we have all our items out of the box is to uh, get our antenna wire and run it into the cab of the truck through the firewall. And the easiest access point is a rubber boot here itself where all the wires run through. Uh, you can use a screwdriver, push it to the side and run the wire in. Once you have that, uh, you will see your antenna here, small antenna, and it'll have a magnet mount so you can place it on your hood or in my case I place it here on my ditch lights. Now that we got it through our boot on this end, um, all we have to do is pull it and we'll secure it here to the top and here towards the back I actually just ended up tucking it up into the panel here and that'll align with the uh, location that our radio will end up. We now have our little radio unit and all we have to do now is connect our antenna with this screw on port here. And we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, and then if you do purchase this model, it will come with a mounting bracket that you can screw into, let's say, your dash or here on your kick panels. Uh, but I just opted to use some double sided tape, and I will be placing this in the charging dock of the Tacoma, which is here. So we just have to place it there, make sure it's stuck into place. And we have our charging cable here all bundled up and we simply plug it in. Final step, uh, we plugged it in and now we just need to see where to mount this uh, little radio head itself with all the controls. So it does come with a mount that you can, uh, with, that comes with some double-sided sticky tape but I don't think that would hold up for off-road. So what I ended up using was a 3D printed uh, like phone holder mount from Stiffy Mounts. So this uh, will just simply hook on here. We have our radio holder, mounts up, and that holds it in place. And with this location, uh, it's easy access. If you need a spotter, you quickly radio to someone like hey i need a spotter things like that or if you need to pull off to side road so it's easy access that concludes our install um, and one thing to note with these grmrs radios is that you do need to have a license there's no test or anything like that but you do have to uh, pay i believe it's a 70 dollars fee at the fcc website and that covers you for 10 years and it's not just the holder of the license it also covers your immediate family so that's also pretty good there has been word that uh, the FCC is going to lower the price to $35 uh, for a 10-year license um, but as of this date of uploading it hasn't took an effect so if that does change I'll go ahead and update uh, the video or link it in the description um, stating the new price radio one to radio two can you hear me Radio 1 to Radio 2, can you hear me? We just got back from our quick uh, little range test in the city. Uh, we hit about 5 miles roughly before we couldn't hear um, the other radio. So do take in mind this is in the city. So I'm guessing highway miles or on open uh, flat land. Uh, you can expect uh, long, longer range, anywhere from like 10 to 12 miles, which is pretty good. Um, for example, like if you were convoying on the highway, it should be plenty of distance and also off-road. Uh, the front person running the convoy should be able to talk to people all the way in the back, no problem. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave any comments if you have any feedback.